Thank you, Wally. Uh, good afternoon, all. Um, as Wally mentioned, uh, I'm a member of the CESA Quality Risk and Sustainability Management uh, Committee, and it's a privilege to be a member of, of, uh, of this panel today. I'm going to introduce you to the, the practice notes um, or reintroduce you to them if, you've, if you are aware of them. And, uh, and, uh, and show you how they've been updated. And, uh, and then I'm going to just uh, uh, switch over to the, uh, the website, the CESA website, and, and just take you through how to log in and find them. Um, so the, uh, first, a bit of the history of the, of the, of the practice notes. Um, the, uh, well, also including uh, um, CESA's history. Uh, CESA was in fact formed in, in, in 1952. It was the, uh, the originator was the South African Association of Consulting Engineers. And uh, the initial membership was 30 consulting engineers. So 30 individuals, quite a small uh, number, but it's grown from strength to strength, as we all know. Uh, in, in 1962, coming back to what Clarissa has been telling you about, uh, the first PI scheme was started uh, with Glenn Val, uh, who then became uh, uh, Glenn Rand and then uh, were taken over by Aon. And so there's almost a 60 year relationship uh, with, with, with Aon over the years. In, in 1980, the first practice notes were introduced uh, to assist members in managing their, their, their business and their, and their, uh, uh, and their projects. And uh, they proved to be extremely popular and, uh, and, and so have been built on over the years. In 2008 then, uh, SAACE became, became CESA and I think there was a sigh of relief in the industry uh, because there'd uh, often been a mix up in the acronyms SASI and SICE, uh, which which was then avoided. Um, then in, uh, in, uh, in 2014, sorry, I'll jump to slide there. Uh, in, in, uh, in 2014, the first uh, revision of the, of the practice notes was undertaken and, um, and, and, and they were reintroduced. And then now in, in, in 2021, well, it actually probably started 18 months ago, uh, Wally Main has, has organized a complete uh, revamp of, of the practice notes again, and hence uh, we are presenting them to you. Okay, so there are um, uh, a, a total of 78 uh, um, practice notes, and to find, to find, make it easier to find them, they've been uh, divided into these six categories, uh, clients and appointments, um, which has subcategories, agreements, fees and disbursements, and liability aspects. Then there are the construction stage services, uh, which have the subcategories claims and insurance and, and, uh, and contract administration. Um, and uh, uh, in, in, um, so the type of um, topics that are covered include uh, how to run a, a tender site inspection, uh, guidelines for preparing a works contract document, uh, all the uh, um, setting up a, 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 a site monitoring team. It's, it's, a, it's a vast uh, um, font of, of, of experience and knowledge that are contained in these, in these particular practice notes and which are very useful for, for uh, well, existing and, and new businesses in, in, in the consulting field. Um, the good practice uh, category um, covers the insurance aspects, the legislative factors affecting a business, uh, practice operation and, and risk management. So they deal a lot with the, with the business side of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, running a consulting business. Uh, it gives guidance on, on, on public uh, liability and third party insurance, how to meet the requirements of the Skills Development Act, um, all, all the acts like the the the, the triple B uh, EE uh, um, uh, act and and uh, and the uh, and the uh, uh, sorry I forget the other one but the, the various acts that govern the business rather than the 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 uh, consulting profession 
uh, are covered in here. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, useful information there covering daily practice. Uh, okay, then under the uh, legal responsibility and disputes, there's 12 uh, uh, practice notes there with the subcategories dispute res dispute resolution and responsibility and liability. So just the two categories, and uh, um, there's practice notes uh, providing guidelines on on how to uh, be a, prepare for being an expert witness, um, the uh, prescription of claims. Uh, preservation of project records and, and uh, useful stuff like that in it. Um, then under professional conduct and development, there's the two subcategories, uh, integrity management and, and professional development. Um, and then the last one, the quality risk and, uh, and quality and risk management has the two categories as well, the quality and risk um, and these, uh, these practice notes give you uh, um, uh, guidance on, on reducing risks and exposure to claims, um, how to calculate the cost of working at risk uh, and determine a fair success fee, and, and guidance for what to do when, when faced with a PR claim, which I'm sure Aon will be uh, pleased if you follow. Um, okay, so... Um, Getting started, um, I'm going to take you across to the uh, the, um, the website now and just show you how to get in there. Um, the uh, the first and important thing to note though is that users need to log into the CESA website. So we would like to encourage members to um, to give staff access to the website. Um, they can they can apply for this through through uh, through through Wally Main and. Um, the uh, the um, they'll be given a password and and uh, and a username and they'll be able to access it but they can be prevented from accessing the uh, company uh, um, the private uh, uh, company confidential information so they'll just have access to the to the the practice notes um, also question and comments can be logged online and will be redirected to the uh, appropriate aspect to expert rather. And uh, practice notes will be updated on a continual basis. So, for example, the, with the new EXA fee guidelines, the, the practice notes dealing with, uh, with, with fees will be updated. And, uh, and also, as comments are received, the, the practice notes will be updated. So it's, it's, uh, it's preferable not to uh, download all the practice notes and hold them on your servers to make them available to, to, to company staff. Um, because they, uh, they, they will eventually be outdated. And so we would prefer that you um, do uh, give your uh, staff members uh, access rights and let them uh, get them directly. Okay, um, so that's the end of my formal presentation. And then I'll now go on to the, um, uh, the, uh, um, the web page itself. Um, so this is the landing page, the home page of the web page. There's a member login, so you'll log in at, as a member, um, and uh, then it'll take you to the member menu, uh, which you see now. The, the, there's the button practice notes uh, at the fourth from the bottom, and this is the uh, practice note web page. So. Um, you can there's a, quite a detailed search functionality built into the uh, into the web page if you know the practice note number you can you can type that in uh, or you can type in the the or select from the six categories um, that that i just went through with you like clients and appointments and uh, and then any of the subcategories that fall under there and you can then search uh, for that and uh, it'll it'll show the um, the uh, the practice notes in that subcategory. You'll notice here there are some archived uh, practice notes. So in total there are ninety two uh, practice notes, but uh, in fact the um, the uh, there's only seventy eight that are current. The archived ones are, are, are practice notes that were available in the past, but which for various reasons have not been updated either because they they. Uh, the legislation's changed, and uh, or, or they uh, they 
they deal with something that that is sort of no longer uh, uh, dealt with in a, in a consulting practice. But often they have been incorporated into other into other practice notes. So that's the search you can do there. You, you can also uh, search on keyword keywords. So if you want to search on on, on PR claims, for example, uh, you can uh, hit that, and it'll give you all the um, the uh, practice notes dealing with the uh, with PR claims guideline on reduced standing in civil engineering, the potential for PR claims, and appointments to provide expert technical advice. Um, so that's that's so just some of the keywords that I uh, included there. Um, the um, the other thing you can do is can have a full list of the practice notes. So if you click on that, then it'll list um, all seventy eight of them below, um, showing uh, what what category and which uh, um, which category they're in, and whether they're current. Or, or archived, and you can see the archived ones on tick there. You'll also see the the uh, practice note number that you can uh, click on, but you can also just click on any one of these. Like if I click on the Occupational Health and uh, Safety Act, uh, this will show the practice note, um, which you can then download, open in Acrobat. Um, You'll see the each each practice note starts with the the purpose, the keywords, and and the disclaimer. Um, what I didn't mention in 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 a in a in in my introduction was that initially the the practice notes were called advisory notes, but they were changed over to the name was changed to practice notes because the uh, the the legal legal advice from the member firms was that Caesar was attracting liability by calling them. Uh, Advis uh, um, ad advisory notes, yeah. So they would change to, to practice notes. So it's a very simple process to get to the practice notes. Um, if I go back to the main screen, the, uh, the other thing you can do is, uh, um, sorry, let me just go back, uh, switch to the search function. Right, and here is the ask a question button that we uh, uh, would, would encourage you to use and your staff to use um, to, to ask a question where you put in your name and email address and you can put a question in uh, on the practice note. But we would also encourage uh, uh, members to, to, uh, to give us comments on, on the practice notes if you think that there's uh, um, something that can be added or something that you... Uh, don't agree with, you can please uh, give us your comments. These are live documents, and so we would like to be updating them and making sure that they are um, relevant and, and up to date. Um, what will happen once you submit this is it will go uh, um, via Wally Main, and he will direct it to either the author of the practice note or a member of one of the of the of the of the panels of the committees um, that that deal with these. Uh, these practice notes. Uh, Wally, I think um, I've uh, covered everything that I wanted to. Um, so over back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, you've got it wrong, Francis. I'm thanking you very much uh, for a great presentation, for giving us the history and purpose of the CESA practice notes and for demonstrating um, very well how to search for and access the practice notes on the website. And I'm sure the delegates will find this of great use. So thank you very much. Um